There are three AIDS defining malignancies. The first one is Kaposi sarcoma, second one is non Hodgkin's lymphoma, and third one is invasive cervical carcinoma. Now, Kaposi sarcoma is associated with the virus, Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus, also called as human herpes virus 8, HHV 8. Now, Kaposi sarcoma is a vascular tumor. In this particular tumor, the involvement of the lymph node is not of any significant prognosis. Okay, so lymph node involvement does not have prognostic significant in Kaposi sarcoma. Kaposi sarcoma can occur in any stage of the HIV infection. In many cases of Kaposi sarcoma, if the disease is limited, initiation of ART and optimization alone is required. And if the disease is severe, sometimes you may have to do local therapy as well as chemotherapy. Now, regarding the non Hodgkin's lymphoma, the non Hodgkin's lymphoma in case of HIV infection can be immunoblastic lymphoma, Burkitt's lymphoma, or primary CNS lymphoma. Among the immunoblastic lymphoma, the most common is diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Two varieties of immunoblastic lymphoma specifically occurs in HIV includes the primary effusion lymphoma which is also associated with the KSHV that is the Kaposi sarcoma herpes virus and plasmacytic lymphoma of the oral cavity. Now when you talk about KSHV that is HHV8 there are three major diseases that can produce in HIV patient. First one is Kaposi sarcoma, second one is primary effusion lymphoma and third one is multicentric Castleman's disease.